Hello everyone, my name is Billy from dailypuzzles.com.au Today we're going to be taking a look at two new budget 7x7s uh, which were released last month. Um, we have the YJ Yufu M on the left and on the right we have the Yushin Little Magic. Um, now I know there are quite a few 7x7s on the market right now which are really good. Um, you have ones like the Ofu from Moyu, um, you have the Spark from Chi and you have the Haze from Yushin. But the reason why these two puzzles um, are very important is because um, of the price. So the one on the left, the YJ Yufu, is $27.50 Australian, and the Yushin Little Magic on the right is $39.95 Australian. Now, the reason that's important is because previously the cheapest magnetic options would be $75, $80, $85 Australian. So that's a huge amount of money for a magnetic 7x7. So if you didn't have a lot of money, um, essentially you're going to be stuck with long magnetic cubes which um, as everyone knows I'd say most people these days would prefer a magnetic option and um, helps the puzzle be more stable and especially with big cubes it helps hold them together when you're turning so that's why these two releases are so important um, you know if you're just getting into 7x7 but you don't want to spend 85 bucks too even if you have the money because you're not sure if you'll like it or not um, these two are, uh, are going to be great ways to get into that so let's take a look at the YJ one first so it's got a really cool box, um, sort of a metallic shine to it. I'm not sure how well it's uh, picking up on camera, but um, very similar to the rest of the puzzles in their U line, which is uh, their new budget magnetic series. So it comes with a little pamphlet. Um, you aren't going to see these puzzles coming with a huge box of accessories, uh, which is part of the reason why they were so cheap. But um, in my opinion, you don't necessarily need all the accessories. I mean, if they come with uh, the spring screws are in, um, if you take care of your puzzles usually, um, it will last you a very long time. And if you don't, um, you can always contact us and we can get you replacement parts for anything. So, a little pamphlet there. Okay, it comes sealed in plastic, which is always nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the colours real quick. Okay, look great. Okay, let's do some first turns. Okay, my first impression is that this is by far the best budget 7x7 I have ever tried. Um, I've not tried the Yushin one yet, so that could be better, but um, yeah, this is definitely the best I've ever tried yet. Uh, I've tried the MF7, um, what else? Um, can't quite think off the top of my head, but um, there aren't a lot of uh, budget options to be honest, which are very compelling. Um, a lot of the budget options just aren't very good, um, but um, uh, quite a long time ago, uh, not even actually that long ago. Um, if you wanted the 7x7 you'd probably have to go to Shangsha and um, you'd spend 50 60 bucks for a really huge, like I'm talking huge puzzle that um, was really sandy and grindy, um, not really suited for speed cubing, it was more just there to actually have a 7x7 puzzle that was functional. But um, these days, yeah, this is one of the great options I reckon and this is going to help 7x7 grow and um, yeah. Regardless of what I think of the Yufu, uh, sorry, the Yushin Little Magic, considering this is twenty-seven fifty Australian, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how they how they make it for that cheap. Um, I mean, once they have the molding, I mean, the plastic's pretty cheap, but someone has to assemble this and glue magnets into every single piece. So I'm not quite sure how YJ um, have done it, but um, they've done it. Um, I'd say the magnets are light medium. Um, turning's pretty smooth, maybe slightly sandy. Um, it does come with a little bit of lubricant in the box, but um, the turning is very good. <laughs> like, I could almost use this as my main straight away, to be honest. But um, I'm not crazy about 7x7, seven seven. Um, not that fast at it, but I'm just trying to convey how good this is for the price. So let's check out some corner cutting real quick. And yeah, that's fantastic. For a 7x7, seven seven, it really doesn't get much better than that. Um, so yeah, that's very good. Very happy with this. Now let's take a look at the Yushin. Okay, here it is. 
let's take a look at the box real quick. So uh, the box is uh, pretty similar to their new magnetic 4x4 and 5x5. Got Kevin Hayes. Okay, okay, this does not come sealed in plastic. Um, another pamphlet. Um, this one is a lot smaller, but um, realistically, the is that a five by five pamphlet? Well, regardless, for big cubes, um, my recommendation would be always go for a YouTube tutorial. Um, that way you can follow along, and I think it's definitely the best way to learn um, any puzzle, I'd say. So let's take a look at the cube. So um, one difference about this is it uh, currently only comes in stickerless. So the Yufu does have a black and stickerless option. So that is a benefit of this puzzle um, if you like a, a stickered puzzle. Um, but again, um, there is a price difference too. 27.50 Australian, uh, just under 40 Australian. So let's take a look at the shades. Very, very nice shades. They look great. All right, let's give it some first turns. Okay, first impression, um, the tensions definitely are very tight. Uh, part of the benefits of having magnets is you can be a little bit loose on the tensions and that helps improve corner cutting but um, out of the box, tensions are very tight. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to move those middle layers. Um, the magnets are definitely a lot stronger too. Um, outer seems light, the inners are stronger. Yeah, definitely a uh, doesn't flow as, uh, as nicely as the YJ7x7 in my opinion. I have uh, heard from a few people though, this puzzle does improve a lot after tensioning and lubing and breaking. So, um, but this video is just for first impressions. Maybe if you guys want to see a review um, of both these puzzles, you can let us know and we can, you know, uh, break them in a bit and give uh, some more conclusive thoughts. But um, just out of the box, um, I don't personally think it's as good as the YJ 7x7. Um, it's a little bit harder to turn, tension side is good, um, it's slower, and the magnetic strength is uh, stronger, which um, for me personally, not a huge fan of it. Um, I prefer the lighter magnets like in the Yufu. Um, so, yeah, so this puzzle just flows way more nicely, uh, in my opinion. It's got a good flow to it, smooth turning. And yeah, this definitely does, I'd say, feel more stable, but um, yeah, it's slow. Um, but this could change, you know, once you break it in and use it a bit more. Um, it has improved from when I first took it out of the box, even with just um, a little bit of messing around with it. So this puzzle could have a lot of potential. I don't want to write it off um, straight away. But um, yeah, I, it's definitely still like a good option to consider. I mean, half the price of uh, any other of the Magnetic 7x7s right now, other than the Yufu. So um, definitely worth considering. Let's take a look at corner cutting. Yeah, so not quite as much. Oh, pretty similar. I have to, I'm having to be a little bit more forceful though. Um, but um, uh, for the amount of money you're paying for either of these puzzles, um, there's only so much room to complain. I mean, um, you have to understand the manufacturer's perspective. Yeah, they can make a great product, but they have to make a living too. They have employees to pay. Um, so they can only make so good of a puzzle for a price. I mean, it's already incredible that um, I mean, in 2019, we have a magnetic 7x7 that's 2750 Australian. I mean, I know when the Volk 3 first came out, it was 2650 Australian. So this is only $1 more than a non-magnetic Volk 3 when it first came out. So um, that's very impressive. Um, very impressed with both these puzzles. Um, uh, I'd recommend buying either of them, to be honest, if you want to try out 7x7. Um, I'd prefer this one, but um, the uh, Yushin one still is a good option, I think. Definitely worth checking out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, thanks for watching our video. If you want to pick both these puzzles up, um, the link is in the description. Um, if you use the code YouTube, you'll get a discount for a limited time. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks guys.